Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you don't want to miss any informative videos in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification, when we post new video on the channel. In recent time, I have got many questions about square root extractor, and where should we use square root extractor. So, I have decided to make one video to cover this topics. In this video, I'm going to explain, what is square root extractor? And where should we do square root extraction? At DPT side or at DCS side? First of all, let's start with, what is a square root extractor? As we know that, the relationship between flow rate and differential pressure is nonlinear. In other words, differential pressure developed by a Venturi, orifice plate, pitot tube, or any other acceleration-based flow element is proportional to the square of the flow rate. Square root extractor is an electronic or pneumatic device, which converts square root signal of the flow transmitter into corresponding linear flow signal. In past or days of pneumatic instrumentation, this square root function was performed in a separate device called square root extractor. The Foxborough Model 557 and Moore Model 65 are the devices, which is used for square root extractor in past. As you can see, this is the Moore square root extractor, which is used as square root extractor. Nowadays, all the smart DP transmitter comes with square root extractor function. And to convert square root signal into linear flow signal, user has to select this function from transmitter. In this section, you will learn, where should we do the square root extraction? This is a very common question which comes in everyone's mind. Sometimes, it is very confusing for field engineer and system engineer to decide at which end square extraction need to be done. At transmitter side or DCS side. In this type of situation, proper communication is needed between field engineer and system engineer. Sometimes the field engineer assume that it will be done in DCS, and he purchases transmitter without square root extractor function. In other side, the system engineer assumes it will be done in transmitter. And nobody does it. Which is not correct. Conversely, in some cases, the square root extraction is done at both places, which again is not correct. In an ideal way, square root extraction should be done at one place only. Either square root extraction should be done at transmitter side. Or it should be done at DCS side. But not both side. Ideally, it is advisable to give this task to the system side. The reason behind this approach is that, the transmitter's electronic computational capability is not superior as compared to system or DCS side. Well, in this last slide of the video, I will be sharing some very informative links for those who are aspiring and want to excel in the instrumentation field. I would like to share links for useful calibration videos and books related to instrumentation and flowmeter. And I have also shared link to buy or rent some devices for calibration. If you like the devices, you can buy the devices by using those links. 